we begin section three of the canal system. The railways travel in their different directions here. That throws us back in time as I've said, so we're going back a little, to water power. Yes, as I'll show you a shot now of the sky, it's beautiful and boy. Is that a plane in the sky? Due to the coronavirus, all planes are grounded. So the West Fork of the LYR train to feed East Lancashire and its paper mill, also Wilton Mill, that's south of Radcliffe, well south of Radcliffe. Uh, it crosses the Red Bridge that we're connected to, at the bottom of this kite system. But we jump over the road you see here, uh, Blackburn Street. sun's shining towards us, so I'll keep on the other side just to film the bridge. Then we get a little bit of the system, we should be able to see where the railway forked round that towards Berry in the distance. You can see the line of trees and they actually curve back that way. Anyway, that's where we're going to head towards Bolton. But first, we'll follow the channel and see evidence of the train and guide. Because it should be just the tunnel or a little bit of guide channel left somewhere. Because it goes under the road, the train system. As we go backwards, it's worth noting we're in the early stages of the year 2020, it's coming to the end of March, and we've got a worldwide epidemic, the coronavirus. So everyone's aware of the coronavirus, I don't need to explain the coronavirus. It's um, basically a flu travels around very rapidly and it can be lethal. So I'm going to go into the facts. But because I want to go further back in my explanations because we're following the canal again and there's going to be no roads in this area or trains. So in a way we're sort of going back. But there's not many people using the roads because there's a um, social distancing measures have come in place, so everyone's staying in. There's no airplanes, all flights are grounded. There's no plane in the sky, there's no chemtrails, there's no sounds from roads. So it's a perfect time, unfortunately for the coronavirus people, for me to go back in time, because all there is, is the canal. So there'd be no other forms of transport, this is Oh, you're stuck with this, or you're walking it. And that is what I want because at the start of the canal we got the brief explanation of trains. But now we're going to go back. So the first water wheel, water power, are the first gears and cogs. 80 BC. Um, that wasn't discovered until the 1900s. Um, it was in Greece, it was on a shipwreck, found the first like water wheel powered gear and cog system. Uh, you can see the bridge that the train would have gone under into a tunnel. Uh, the next evidence of the train that goes over outward viaduct. Well, you'll see a straight line. You know, you'll just get a quick shot of that. The only evidence, and there's nothing else there to show you really. 
but that links up to outward viaduct um, the area here is Coney Green where the school used to be and that's the railway sidings um, I know that the train definitely went under here or else it would have hit the other train that's going over the top we can also see on the brow 80 BC um, that wasn't discovered until the 1900s um, it was in Greece it was on a shipwreck found the first like water wheel powered gear and cog system is it Anticathera the Anticathera mechanism uh, the first year positive and that is AD we're going to go right back there so we can get some history of science so the first year positive that's AD oh the um, mechanism that was found was a crane with a water wheel powered system as well pulleys and we, that's what I'm saying we're going to go back so we don't get to electricity just yet although we know where we're at with the electricity and everything else going on but today it's just canal until we get down to the viaduct uh, we've got the steam train to look at and you go to knob end locks Crestal E aqueduct giant seat in Ringler and right round then to Clifton viaduct and aqueduct in this section so 2000 years ago in our current calendar Previous to that was the mayor calendar called the Long Count, and it was a 5,125 year system. 1 AD, the Chinese were the first civilization to extract salts from brine by boiling it. So, this is Scotson Fold, it used to be Scotson Fold Farm. And just get a quick look here. This hole in the ground is part of a colliery, coal mining facility. First substantial piece of information about the canal there was a boat docking area to the left hand side of this road. It's just over there where those three trees are in the middle, and it goes over the fence towards the canal first place we are at now is this iron bridge it's modern construction it would have been a stone bridge originally as I say it's Scots and Fold crosses over to Green Lane Colliery, so there's another one. Um, it's called Green Lane, green as in Bowling Green. It would have been the latest activity in the early 1800s. So that's just over there. There would have been a pavilion, a bandstand. It's Peel Gardens back in the 1800s, and the Bowling Green would have been a fascinating activity. Very um, fun affair, I'm sure. But we'll just get another look at this, where the docks would have been for the coal mining. Incidentally, that's uh, the main series line. So that would be our first chemistry. Chinese extracting salt that is. Previously, like the gears, um, from 15 BC before Christ, so that's 2015 years ago, around that time, there's aqueduct building and force pumps and people are writing down how to build aqueducts and force pumps and siphons. So it's water systems 2000 years ago. So 
25 AD uh, Celsius, the Roman medical expert, produced De Mediciana. Uh, it's a medical encyclopedia. Col Columella, also around 50 AD, uh, had an animal diagnosis encyclopedia of illnesses. 75 AD, the Romans first used window glass. They developed fine glass blown into vase shapes and bowls from around 50 AD. They created in Roman occupied Syria. They had invaded England, uh, Wales and Ireland is another story, also Scotland. But they'd invaded England at this time, so Rome's at its greatest. It's around 39 AD, they invaded England. Uh, they've invaded England and Germany and most of the world now. 100 AD, uh, the Indian Book of Medicines, Karaka Samhita. So the next site, it's a other little place, and as I said, there's no planes. I've heard one, and see, not seen any chemtrails or anything. So we're back in time. Just hear the odd bicycle, or see the odd bicycle. But all we have is the canal. There's no railways. We're not going to concentrate on electricity, as I said. Just the water systems. This place is called Nicker Hole, and this is Nicker Hole Bridge. We're on the other side of the canal just so we can get better shots. Just as we go along to Nicker Hole Bridge, and it, the area is called Nicker Hole by the way. We'll see a guy, another pipe system. It's either a sewer line or it's part of an old water channel that goes over the canal. You can actually hear it going through the bridge and there's uh, civil engineer covers built into the bridge. The place is called 12 Houses. It's near Mount Zion Crane. We're getting close to Mount Zion Bleach Works. Diggle Lane Works is between here and Scotts and Fold. And importantly, this is the border for Berry and Bolton now. So as we cross under this bridge and over this bridge, we're on the border and we go into Bolton. And in 25 AD, Heron, our hero, Alexandria, Egypt. Uh, he was a prolific engineer from ancient Greece. But Egypt predates all civilizations and most inventions by at least 10,000 years. Anyway, he demonstrated a steam-powered, let's say, thingy-ma-jig, thingy-ma-bob. Uh, that is, it did nothing. It just spun round and round. It was powered by steam. Uh, my favourite invention along the, those lines was the first recording equipment in the 1790s that can't be played back. So it can record things, but you'll never be able to see what it recorded or play back the sound. That is the most useless invention ever made, isn't it? That is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious.